Good evening and welcome to this Euro Under-21 qualifier from Aachen as Germany hosts Latvia in Group B. So it's the game in hand for both these sides as Germany will look to go top with a point 
a win would by be ideal to go clear at the top of the table ahead of the crunch mac match next week away to Israel so it is the first match for the under 21s in 2022 and Antonio De Salvo will be very confident of grabbing the three points here tonight even though Germany are injury hit coming into this as the home side get us underway kicking from left to right in the traditional national colours so Germany currently second in the group one point behind Israel with this game in hand so it's also very important they've won five drawn none and only lost one so far in the group that only lost coming to Poland and it's a much changed squad but it's still a very strong lineup with Leverling up front looking to emulate his form in the Bundesliga for Greuther Fürth he's flanked by Thielmann and Knauf Burkhardt is in support of the attack Kraus and Stiller will be bombing up and down the field the box-to-box -box midfielders Katterbach and Wagnerban who makes his comeback will be the fullbacks with Bauer and Dardai in for his debut at this level at centre-back with Atubolu coming in as goalkeeper winning the battle to be number one with Mantle of Salzburg it's been a good quick start to the game from Germany just attacking here down the left-hand side as Stiller gets the first ball into the box Knauf here picking up the pieces nice little flick to Fagnermann and Latvia can come forward for the first time as Germany picked up a welcome three points away from home against Latvia earlier in qualification they fell behind early to Korotkovs but they reacted very well indeed storming back to cruise to a 3-1 victory as Mukoko, Stiller and Chow all scored Chow scoring just a couple of minutes after half time and the rest of the match they just played it out really let's see if they can do the same kind of damage again as Latvia get the first shot away it's just deflected there from Sitz and an easy take for Atubolu the Freiburg reserve keeper currently playing in the third league in Germany for the second team he's a very impressive keeper really good presence and he gets the nod here from Antonio De Salvo to take his place between the sticks as for the opposition tonight Latvia it's not been a great qualification so far for them they've only won once so far against the whipping boys in the group San Marino and they've lost the other five scoring only four goals two of those coming against San Marino and conceding 13 so Germany will be very very confident with this team out tonight in the Neuer Tivoli in Aachen as Wapner here trying to come forward he's done well to carry the ball that distance it might just fall here for Lucins and it was good snappy play coming in from Kraus to get the ball away from him and Germany have possession again through Bauer and we're looking for some nice combination plays with that pretty much front four Thielmann, Leverling, Knauf and Kraus looking for those to link up and the ball is just lost there Latvia trying to snap at their heels early on let Germany know that they are in a game and Zilgins gets the ball forward down the left hand side and that's a hefty challenge coming in from Dardai to Berlin defender there you can see just coming in late 
no chance of getting the ball and it's a set piece here for Latvia they could possibly test Germany from here Wagner standing over it's going to be an in swinger and the header comes in and drops well wide no trouble at all Vipes it was with the efforts let's have another look at it here well I think the offside flag should have come up perhaps it did late on as we just tick over five minutes played goalless here in Aachen the Germany have made a bright start to the game of course it's difficult with all these changes to get the players to gel together at times during the week only 14 outfield players were fit to take part in training but the bench surprisingly strong tonight with Bisek coming back in Apple camp there Unmecha, Shoranov and Tillman they were doubts for tonight's match but they've made it at least onto the bench and the starting lineup Stiller was also doubtful but the Hoffenheim man very proud to play for Germany at this level and of course Antonio De Salvo will be looking to protect a lot of the players who have knocks before that massive tie on Tuesday against Israel the current leaders coming into this game that's Wagnermann doing well there to get the cross in as well from the byline it's half cleared and then just a little nudge in the back there from Stiller and the defender just a little bit too eager to try and grab hold of possession there you can see just taking a ride there on the back of Wapner so or else the Latvian goalkeeper gets this clear he will be expecting a busy night but so far the opposition have been compact not let too much through and they have looked to go forward whenever possible it was around this time in the reverse fixture that they managed to shock Germany and go ahead and the attack building down the left hand side for the Germans it's Katerbach doing Good work to carry the ball forward 30 40 yards and that's a lovely ball through and a corner here for Germany conceded there by Fipes Tillman with a lovely run off the ball here as it's threaded through timing his run to perfection but look at all the Latvian players in there just packing the box Burkhardt and he clips it towards the fast stick it was a good ball as well towards Thielmann didn't quite get there next ball comes across it's cleared once again well, one way traffic at the moment Germany swarming forward and this time the ball is sliced clear he means it was he got it out in the end Wagnermann with the throw it's been a high tempo in this opening nine minutes now Bauer carrying the ball forward quite comfortable to come into midfield and start off the attacks there was good pressing there from Melnik's of Latvia. Now 
Zambia just managing to stem the flow at the moment. It looks like it's just a matter of time until Germany can take the lead here. As the ball's just gone out of play there. Kraus really breaking his neck to get there. And it looks as though he's run into the advertising hoarding here. The Nuremberg man. And it was a run in vain. And just a bit of an uncomfortable one for the midfielder. And you can see that Stiller and Kraus quite happy to bomb forward as well. To help out in attack. Wagnermann as well has done a lot of running forward from the right back berth. This is a low ball in from Latvia, easily cleared by Germany. And Dardai to Bauer. Almost all the German players in the attacking half, but they've given it away there. In the midfield there, it's quickly retrieved though. Latvia so far haven't really been able to counter attack effectively. They've managed to just get toe pokes in there to win the ball back, but not done anything with it. As that's dropped over the top for Wagnermann. And it's a wonderful little block on his attempted cross. Ilins so far certainly knows he's in a game. It's a beautiful ball clipped forward and it's a desperate tackle to get it out for the corner. They'll be looking to test that man Orals if this one is Stiller takes it they do test him but it's more or less catching practice for the Latvian. As it stands, then Germany with this 0 0 scoreline would top the group if it stays like this ahead of Israel. Level on points. Of course, there's that big away match to come against the Israelis on Tuesday. It's a key match in this group. Coming towards the end of it now. The final straight. This is Germany's seventh match of qualification. And the 16 group. And it's Burkhardt here just running down the left wing. Quite found there by the ball out from midfield. a word about the attendance approximately 7,000 people here at the Neue Tivoli very nice modern stadium perfect setting for an under 21 international it's Wagnermann here that's so cool from him to shoulder barging Botch off the ball Exactly what he was doing. Back here, though, holding their positions well, staying compact, as I mentioned earlier. As there might be a ball in here from Kraus. Couldn't quite manage to make too much of it he's got it back here to Burkhardt Stiller thought about taking the strike there from all of 30 yards it's back out to Burkhardt that's lovely feet and well, it was a cross come shot in the end I don't know if it deflected on its way through there
And the Knights man doing very, very well on that right wing. Hugely confident with the season he's having so far for his club. As the resulting corner comes in, Borgat that time couldn't bring it under control. Might get a, another chance here. Almost shepherded out of play there by Vapnet. That's managing to keep it alive. Another ball into the channel. Here's Leverling. And that's a big save coming up there from Orals. First big chance, you'd have to say for the Germans. Well, it's equal to it. And there might be another chance here for Knauf. But good defending against him. And let's have a look at it here. Stiller just spotting the run there. And it's a beautiful ball by Thielmann. And good pace shown there by Leverling. And a save with the feet by Orals. And that's lovely by Kraus. Whips in the cross. Clip over the top towards Burkhardt and seen off by the captain Tonisevs of Latvia. As the pressure really starting to build now from Germany. And you just get the feeling that if Germany score. Sometime soon the floodgates will open. Latvia have already got through a lot of work to keep it goalless after 17 minutes played. That's energy that Fagerman has in spades. He's just called up this time for a foul that looked harsh. Referee was looking right at it though. Just trying to tug back there Vipes and pushed up into midfield and the ball comfortably back to Orals here under pressure though as he cleared the ball Eventually lands at the feet of a German player. Kraus out towards the left. And then he gets it, plays it up towards Leverling. Couldn't chest it down. And perhaps a chance here for Latvia to counter. It's a nice ball out for Botch. And he's done well to get past Wagnermann on this occasion. Back here for Ilyin. It's a deep cross and nodded back across. And an easy take there for Atubolu, who has basically been a spectator so far in the game. He's glad to get another feel of the ball. moment Germany quite happy just to leave Bauer and Dardai back and let the others bomb forward as we're into the 20th minute we will be happy with that to have reached the 20 minute mark with the game goalless 
No damage done to them as Stiller here. Looks as though contact was made with him in that challenge. Oh, that's uh, an awkward one there from Seats. As the offside flag raised this time against Thielmann. Who's picking up pockets of space when he drops deep. And making nice little runs forward as well into those channels. No one really picking him up. Mistiming the run on that occasion. Latvia just unable to keep possession for longer than 10 seconds. The man just exchanging passes. And under pressure there. Now we're trying to get it back to his keeper. I think the ball had already gone out for the throw in. As you can see, Sitz just trying to make his presence known against the big defender. And he's going to have to do better than that. Foul there from the forward as he looked to retrieve the ball. And Antonio Di Salvo will be happy with the performance so far, but a bit frustrated. We've only seen one real clear cut opportunity so far. And coming for Leverling, lovely play. Played through on goal by Thielmann. But a big save by Orals. So far, it's been all Germany in this game. And Rolls is already starting to slow down the pace of the game, try and frustrate Germany. He really has a long kick on him, poor Rolls. And no. Sliced out of play, but in the other half, at least. As it's flicked around the corner, lovely from Knauf. And he's continued his run using his pace. He gets there. The ball across the six-yard area. Thielmann just arriving too late, sliding in. And now he has to get back to defend here against Zingis. was beautiful direct running from Ansgar Knauf alone at Eintracht Frankfurt from Borussia Dortmund in his breakthrough year in the Bundesliga last season as here we go just flicking it and now watch him off the ball and it's a beautiful ball in but no one really arriving what would surely have been a tap home. And you could see he was just gesturing. What more can he do? And he's got another chance here. As it's towards the back stick and just too high there for Burkhardt. And this time gambled. And it's Katterbach and the ball there just rebounding off the referee. It's going to be a drop ball. As we see again, the Latvian defenders unable to deal with Knauf. Starting to really come into the game now. Another weapon for Germany as that's excellent pressing. Burkhardt's in. 
fires into the bottom corner. Well, all that good defending from Latvia and it's been undone. 25th minute. The defender there hanging his head. And it's a short ball into midfield and straight onto it there. And that's a wonderful, cool little finish. It was Kraus doing well. Oh, one nil finally to Germany. And I think, well, 25 minutes, it's come early enough now for those already mentioned floodgates to open. Going by the opening to this game. Oh, Uldrich is the defender who was caught in possession, is going to have to watch himself. Here they come again, Germany. Knauf is in and it's two. Two in a minute for Germany. Consider the floodgates open. Again, good pressing from the front men. And it's Aldrichis again. It's a big mistake from him. A swipe at the ball. And Burkhardt, well, he could have gone for goal himself. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Aldrichis... He's having a nightmare. A really poor minute from him. Uh, Knauf doesn't care about that. Ruthless. Off the post and in for 2 0. Well, I'd have to say now, with those two goals in a minute, it's a question of. How many can Germany get? Certainly a deserved two-goal lead, but you've got to feel sorry real, really for Uldrichis, the defender. Two mistakes in the space of a minute and punished by Germany. Well, I hope he can keep his chin up. It makes for very uncomfortable viewing that replay. As his standing foot made contact with the ball. Well, perhaps Latvia can force their way back into the game. And Sitz, who's doing plenty of running there in that lone roll up front. This time he had players up with him. And it's good defending to concede the corner there. And Germany will have to be alert here. They won't want Latvia to half the deficit so soon after opening up a cushion. And was whipped in, half cleared, and it was an awkward one. It was Luzin's with the final effort. But again, no test for Atubolu. So Borkart then involved in both goals, scoring the first and setting Knauf free for the second. Really showing good awareness in that second goal. I think many players would have just gone for goal themselves. That's lovely. From the captain there, Tonisevs. Flicking the ball over the attacker. But soon enough, Katerbach is there to win the ball on the halfway line. As we come up towards half an hour played, and unfortunately, that man there. Uldrichis has made two mistakes. And they've both led to goals for Germany.
seen that for you. Not letting their heads drop as yet. And the ball might drop for them here at the edge of the box, but it's a big clearance there. It was Dadai coming in to volley it clear. Zanis with the attempted crossfield ball. And Latvia having a spell of possession here. And very comfortably back to Rawls. Skipping around the challenge and trying just to send Leveling through. It's too far ahead of him in the end, or else they'll have to come racing out of goal to clear. And that's well intercepted there by Fagnerman, and good strong play from him. Knauf should get this. It will be a throw for Germany. Perhaps they're just getting a toe end on it. And Germany showing a real hungry, a real hunger, sorry, to get more goals here. Burgard. Running at the heart of the Latvian defence, it's popped out to the left-hand side. The cross, though, claimed by Orals in the end. As the current standings in Group B of the Euro Under-21 qualifiers, showing Germany proudly at the top, two points clear of Israel. Who they play on Tuesday? That's a cracker. Left. It's taken. It's up for Leveling. Four for Burkhardt. And Kraus, Burkhardt again. Fancy footwork. Low ball. Made by Uldrichis. And Germany might want to target him after those two mistakes, but he's settled down again since. A little bit of showboating now from Germany. Stiller. And another cross. Half cleared. Burkhardt thought he had the chance there with the volley. Didn't fall onto his trusty right foot though. And Sit swings it out towards the right hand side for Lusins. Well won back by Germany. Perfect positioning. I think it was Katterbach over there. Oh, the map. It's a channel down the right, leveling there. And off for the right back. Not quite the cross he was looking for, I think. Germany holding possession until Katterbach is forced just to volley out of play ahead of Sitz. And Kuhlmann has picked up plenty of experience in his young career. And pretty much made the left back spot in this under 21 set up his own. So we've got just over 10 minutes of the first half remaining. There's a very ambitious effort coming in. Well wide by Ilyins. But why not? He had the space to take it. 
As there's a man down on that far side. It is Katterbach. Looks as if he's just caught in the face. Let's have a look here. In the aerial challenge. Well, no malice in it at all. The play goes on. I don't want to come off. hidden behind that front line but causing all kinds of problems the captain that's a lovely ball by Dardai couldn't quite find the ball in field once again, the possession cleaned up by Germany. Just haven't allowed Latvia any space whatsoever to develop their own attacks. There's an example of it. A combination of Kraus and Stiller coming away with the ball. Stiller to Knauf here. Might fancy a crack. It nearly opened up for him. Find Burkhardt who tried to force the ball through the defence and again it's Kraus there. Yes, Kraus forget. Burkhardt and he's spotted a lot of grass in front of Katterbach there. He just dropping off him which is a dangerous game to play he was, he was unhappy with himself there as he fired the ball outright and Alexander Bazov's there you can see the Latvian coach well he'll be disappointed to be 2-0 down after keeping it goalless for 25 minutes but a double blow the goal is coming in the space of a minute and there could be another one here Knauf gets it across and it was I'm not sure if it was a shot or a cross in the end it was a tight angle for him I think he might be going for that fast stick golfing quality between the two sides and as shown by the scoreline as we have six minutes to go in the first half lovely little turn there from Stiller Seeing off the challenge. Two captains clashing there. Burkhardt and Lennox. Just over five minutes to go. It's a quickly taken corner by Thielmann. And swung over by Katterbach. All the way back to Atubolu. 
much of an opportunity sh to show what he can do to show that he deserves that number one shirt and another German player is down here catching his face but play continues with Latvia in plenty of space down the left hand side it's Butch a deep cross in and they are unable to make anything of it Zemius I think it was arriving as it's Kraus who's in the wars and just caught by the flying arm there of Sitz again no malice at all from the Latvian We see here the opener Kraus with the press and a superb finish there from Burkhardt and then again a mistake from the same defender Uldrichis Burkhardt straight onto it out to Knauf and what about that for a first time finish and Uldrichis as I mentioned has settled since then hasn't entered panic mode is back on the field ready to continue here he is and his midfield partner Stiller and Knauf here gets the ball back off the defender and he's happy on his right or left as he gets the shot in and then it drops for Burkhardt and that's brilliant 3-0 Germany and Burkhardt second absolutely phenomenal finish just driving it across the goalkeeper and it starts with this and Stiller gets it to Knauf Knauf gets a bit lucky there in fairness to get the ball back but once it finds the feet of Burkhardt that is genuine quality right there just traps the ball. He knows exactly what he wants. Off with a plum. And he's world class, really, from the Mainz front man. Two for the captain, three for Germany. And this game pretty much wrapped up before half time. The ball was rebounding around in the box there. But Burkhardt, as cool as you like, just curling it past Orals. And now he's going for his hat trick as he drives at the defence again. And there's the ball in there from Katabak. That's easily fielded this time by Orals. been a really solid performance this first half from Germany fully deserving their three goal lead against Latvia who haven't been that poor but they've just not been able to get any attacking momentum at all and two mistakes from their defender Uldrichis punished in the space of a minute and then Burkhardt again with a world-class goal to make it three again a cruise for Germany against Latvia and no slip-ups as in the reverse fixture let's come off again Sets off on a little run, can't find Burkhardt this time. 
So we're about to tick over 45 minutes. Maybe two minutes of time added on. And you'd imagine that Latvia will want to get into the dressing room as quickly as possible. It's a big 15 minutes for their coach, Alexander Borsovs. That's a deflected ball, almost fell for Leverling. Bauer finds himself on the right wing. Cross finds Kraus, then Knauf. Leverling trying to wrestle his way through that time. That's an uncomfortable ball back for Atubolu in the end, though. He retreated well. No panic. And surely Germany just going to see out this half now in possession of the ball. The second half, they may well try and get more goals on their record. And they'll be so pleased to put this one to bed in the first half. And a great confidence boost as well ahead of that game against Israel on Tuesday. They've looked very well drilled by Antonio Di Salvo. And those front players really enjoying themselves. In the second half, it would be nice to see Leveling get on the score sheet. Zoral's about to take this goal kick, and that should be the final action of the half, which has been dominated by Germany here in Aachen. The 3 0 scoreline. Just what they deserve. Burkhardt at the double, and Ansgar Knauf. The first two goals from Burkhardt and Knauf coming. In the space of a minute, and Burkhardt, well, look at the half-time highlights. Absolutely brilliant goal for him for the third for Germany. Join us in about 15 minutes or so to see if Germany can rack up any more goals.
Welcome back to the second half of this Euro Under-21 qualifier. It's Germany Under-21 against Latvia Under-21. And as you might expect, Germany dominating in the first half. The half-time scoreline 3-0 with Captain Burgard at the double. And Ansgar Knauf also on the score sheet. The first two goals from Burgard and Knauf coming within a minute of each other for the unfortunate Latvia due to his mistake the third goal though absolutely world class and Burgard just trapping the ball and curling it delightfully around the goalkeeper Orals Germany really full value for their three goal lead at half time well, let's see if they can build on that. As far as we're aware, no changes for either side at half-time. So both coaches sticking with what they've got. And Stiller there comes in with the first foul of the second period. And it's been a really excellent performance from Germany. Free-flowing football. Throwing everyone forward. And Latvia really have had no answer to it at all. They held Germany off for 25 minutes. And after that it was one-way traffic. But they've got an early chance here to throw the ball into the box. This is Wapner. And it's a good ball in too. The header ending up though over the bar from Luzins. Still no real test for Atubolo though in net tonight for the Germany side. So Burkhardt will be looking for his hat-trick this evening. And as I said at the end of the first half, it would be nice to see Leveling get himself on the score sheet. work off the ball to make life easier for his fellow attackers in what is basically a front four with Thielmann, Knauf and Burkhardt as there is a chance here for him the rebound back to his feet and now the shot to come in from Kraus just digging under it there Kraus was in the wars in the first half, but he's reappeared for the second. He scored some excellent goals so far in this qualifying campaign. Kataban with the throw. Expect again the Hatfield to try and keep it tight until the hour mark. Got to break down the game into smaller chunks. Off well enough. But it quickly fell apart after the first goal from Burkhardt. He's here under a little bit of pressure, goes down. And it was uncomfortable for Sitz, but he's still managed to come away with the ball. Stiller with the challenge. And what's the decision? Looks as though it's a Latvian free kick. Stiller again. A little bit over anxious to get the ball away. And the ball in, and well, there is a tester for Atubolu. 
Really good stop there, full stretch to deny Fipes. First big chance for Latvia in the game and it's a great stop and he gets it around the post as well. Showing his quality there and he's telling his teammates to focus here just because they're 3-0 up. Doesn't mean they can take their foot off the gas at all as the next opportunity perhaps. The flicked header there dropping wide from Luzins. Here's a replay of that stop. It's an excellent header down low. Matubolu throwing himself across to stop it. Surrounded by two, just losing out. Yeah, this is a good start to the second half from them. Five minutes in. There's again very cool defending from Wagner Mann. He's done that all evening long. A handled defender, really impressing from that right back position and as the flag goes up there for a foul from the debutant Dadai and a yellow card as well just blotting his copybook a little bit harsh perhaps from the referee it's just to hold on the arm of Sitz perhaps it was for that second infringement First yellow of the game. Another opportunity for Vapner to play the ball in here. Can get a repeat performance. It's curled in again and the heads go up. And it's that man, Uldrichis, who won it. But he can't atone for his pair of errors in the first half as the header goes high and wide of the target. Man. And the ball quickly Not for Burkhardt, for Kraus. You can just feel something building here. As Wagnermann cuts inside, Stiller lifting it here for Katterbach. And in the end, the ball just sitting up there for the left back. Couldn't quite get over it to put it across goal. I think that's what he had in mind to really drive this one, but in the end, it's sliced off his boot and out for the goal kick. And it's great to see the fullbacks in such advanced positions, both of them at the same time. No fear from the under-21s. Stretch there to get the ball away from Vapner. And so we're just coming off a Latvian there for a throw on the left for Germany. A 
beautiful ball from Burgat. Finding Katterbach, but great defending there, in fairness, from Zingis. Walking the cross. Had a lot to do to make up the ground on Katterbach. Next corner to come in from Germany. You can see Leveling was in there. Looking for the bits and pieces. Katterbach with the eventual cross. It's cleared and the offside flag raised. It's the player at the back stick there who comes to try and win it. Just staying in there, Latvia with a... Just trying the little ball for Thielmann. Just behind him in the end. And the volley ball sent into the stands there. Zengis. Not messing around. And as the match has pretty much fallen into the same pattern of players in the first half, Germany absolutely dominant. Just looking for a gap. In the Latvian defence. See excellent defending Katavak just coming into the middle to intercept and keeping the ball simple as well. Keep the ball rolling. The ball on the edge of the box, it's blocked. The ball back across. He's in this away, it just wouldn't quite drop there for a German attacker and now the potential break is on for Latvia Luzins for Zingis has to curl one in with his left boot it's over the head there of Sitz and perhaps the foul given as well the forward just bustling a little bit too much there who was down he doesn't stay down for long in fact sorry Dadai many of them stay down for long if they don't have to especially in a game like this they want to get on with things as quickly as possible Popping the ball around in midfield Germany to let the ball do all the work. Oh, well won, and Burkhardt could be away. Just can't quite find Thielmann. Quite the tempo of the first half as you would understand. 3-0 up, Germany can just take their foot off the pedal slightly in attack. Just make sure that they're solid in midfield, don't let Latvia through. They don't really need to go in the hunt for goals and it looks as though coming up towards the hour we're going to have a quadruple change. Give the squad a good run out. And there's a chance to be in the shop window at this level. For a number of these players with all the injury worries in the German camp. As it's comfortable for Bauer. And his partner Dadai. The 
subs are stripped and ready but the ball has got to go dead first and it looks as though Germany quite happy to hold on to it at the moment here's Knauf has to come in field he's kept hold of it somehow and it's just flicked away from him by Melnix a little slip there from the Latvian managed to find a teammate though and then Burkhardt greedy for the ball and a lovely little run I thought he was going to fancy a crack he might still get one here as he turned on it left footed and it flies high and wide it was a difficult opportunity for him to complete his hat trick well, he's just gliding all over the field the captain at the moment it's just stretching there you can see as he gets the return ball from Kraus forces it between two defenders then it's not that far wide well, it looks as though Kraus is going to be withdrawn here an all action performance from him and as we can see Mecha Tillman coming on Burkhardt comes off for a well-deserved rest at the double in the first half couldn't complete the hat-trick just not quite there and we do also coming on she mentioned Felix in midship and the man also off and Asta replacing him so the new captain is Angelo Stiller. Proud moment for him. And the players getting a rousing in Aachen. So let's see what effect that quadruple change will have on the game. Of course, the four players will be highly motivated to impress. Back, trying to get clear and he has done just slides it down the left here nice ball looking for the newly arrived Ali Du just went in behind too soon yes indeed to show the strength in depth of the under 21s for Germany they've got all these injuries but the fresh call ups highly talented as Ali Du here just getting involved with Zingis what should do about nothing in the end no need for the referee to react to that as the ball is flicked on for Latvia and a penalty has been given well I'm not too sure about that well, let's have another look the free kick comes in Sitz goes down very easily well booze around the stadium as you can hear There doesn't seem to be too much in that. It's a competitive challenge. Well, Atubolu now will be called into action. 
as Vapner steps up for this penalty. Shoving going on on the edge of the area. Can Vapner keep his cool here? No, he can't. Atubolu has pulled off a tremendous save again. And on the rebound, it was fired wide as that clean sheet for Germany stays intact. Well, it's not a bad penalty, it's down low to the right-hand side of Atubolo and he does really well not only to get there but to send it away to a tight angle Lavia couldn't force it home well now he's proving his worth to the team with just under 25 minutes to go a very soft penalty award and I think justice done there really having a big chance there to pull one back not taking it Vapner denied Atubolu think that just nothing has gone right for them tonight with those two mistakes in the first half by Uldrichis in the space of a minute being punished and then the missed penalty midway through the second and this is a matchup and he's done well good pace there on the turn Sits again, goes to ground, and he gets another decision from the referee. Perhaps a sympathy vote. As it's a yellow card, I think, flashed towards Bauer, who gave away the penalty. Well, that one a little bit more clear cut. Having said that, Bauer with a. And it's the second yellow card of the evening. Both of them for Germany and both of them for centre-backs. Bauer and Dadai. Going to have to just keep their discipline for the remaining quarter of the game. Nietzsche again. That's the chance to show his pace. Tried the cross-field ball up towards Thielmann, who's seemingly switched wings for a while as we see a replay of the penalty save from Atubolu really focused watched it all the way and takes the plaudits from his teammates as that's a certain free kick for Germany just outside the box it was Tillman the Bayern youngster going down and who fancies this one Could have been given for either of those challenges in all honesty the one on Ali, Ali Du or Tillman that is out Nietzsche right. fancy it still is there for the left footed delivery if need be and still wearing the captain's armband right make the decision for himself here it's a good position though for a medsha from here it is indeed him it's into the wall straight back to the taker back to the center again but cleared by Latvia Alidu doing well to hold on to the ball now Kata back in the center 
the ball out towards Tillman. It's picked up here at pace. Zing is, but he goes nowhere with it. There's Ali Duke. Can he get there? He just managed to. A sliding challenge from Tonisevs, putting it out of play for a throw for Germany. 20 minutes remaining of this game. I have a feeling the goal scoring is not over yet. As we're going to see a change from Latvia as Vapner comes off. He's impressed in open play, I have to say, but he saw his penalty saved. And now Stepanovs is on for the final 20. Sits, just trying to turn, sending the ball out of play. And just a reminder of how the table looks in Group B. Germany sitting on top with all the teams now on seven matches. Two points clear of Israel. Who they play on Tuesday evening. And four clear of Poland. And it's a lovely little toe end through towards Ali Du. Almost got through, and then that's a heavy challenge coming in from Tonisevs. Now he's in the book. First of all, stretching here, doing well against Ali Du. And taking a look at Umidja. He knew he had no chance. Still came in with it. Took one for the team. And the referee now having to clamp down on a couple of the challenges flying in. Tillman comes away with that ball. That's it to Stiller. Eighteen or seventeen minutes, sorry, remaining now. And Germany might be disappointed that they haven't added to that half-time scoreline of three 0 and tries to break forward, just denied of the ball on the byline. It comes straight back at Latvia though. Be happy with the clean sheet, particularly with that save from Atubolo from the penalty. Saving from Vatna. Could have been a lifeline for Latvia. They've really retreated into their shells now. The away side. Damage limitation. It looks as though they're going to stay on only one win during the qualifying. As Leveling here puts it across. It's scrappy defending from Latvia. Can Germany get a clean shot away? They can. It's Tillman. It's driven into the bottom corner from the edge of the box and 4-0. Lovely little finish, that is. Well, Katterbach well involved, as is Leveling here. The ball across 
It's scrappily half cleared. Katterbach finds Tillman and that's brilliant. Firing it low and hard into the corner. No chance again for Orals there. There is the extra to that 3 no half-time scoreline that I was just talking about. As perhaps a, a chance here for Sitz. Got the volley away. Well off target. If it didn't take a deflection on its way through. It did indeed from Bauer. Germany will want to keep their focus here defending this corner. It's whipped in and the volley comes in. It was Alnix who tried it on the volley but just wide of the far stick. And there's going to be another change leveling here. Dimovano running off the ball to open up gaps. He's going to be replaced by Shuranov for the final 14 minutes. Here for sure enough. Can he do any damage in the forward areas? Here he is. He's getting the ball caught between his feet, but keeping hold of it. And he do looks up and delivers a high ball. Nodded back in. Tillman trying to get on the second ball. The referee just called a halt to this. There's going to be another change from Latvia. As Botch is coming off. It barely mentions him in the second half. And coming on for him is Kiers. What a great time to be coming on for your team. 4-0 down away from home. And they just conceded the fourth. Germany looking good for more. Mitcha decides to have a crack from 25 yards. So a couple of half chances for Latvia in this second half that's all that Germany have really allowed through plus that missed penalty of course which was a soft award from the referee that's a ball who's saving it it's been a fine performance at both ends of the field and this is a barnstorming run here coming through and the shot eventually from Shuranov into the side netting looking to make an immediate impact on the game Just couldn't quite get his foot around it to send it across the goalkeeper demoralizing for Latvia and Germany can make a change and bring on a player of the quality of Shuranov he's causing more problems again Ulrich seems to have regained his composure after that meltdown in one minute in the first half 
which resulted in the first two goals for Germany. It's a lovely little ball for Shurinov and denied there by Orals. And he's certainly getting the chances, the sub. That's a beautiful ball flicked by Tillman. Chance is coming thick and fast now for Germany to make it number five. Here's the corner coming in. No one can clear and it's a header in the end from Dardai. Straight at the keeper looking to get a goal on his debut there, Dardai. Coming up from the back. Might not get a better chance than that. changes from Germany haven't really made things any easier for Latvia at all it's given them something different to think about with the trickery of that man Ali Du bamboozling them and the direct play of Shurinov really paying off oh, he is dropping deep this time and Love to try those little dinked balls over the top, Germany. To try and get runners forward and turn the opposition defence. Good pressing from a Micha. stuck. And just over eight minutes remaining. You'd have to say the points have been in the bag since in the first half. Third goal from Burkhardt surely confirming that the win would go the way of Germany as Ali Dula, I think, just misreading the bounce. It was a strange flight of ball in towards him as the header comes across. I think. He should have gone for it with his left and gone for goal. It's, it's trying to play it back across and score the perfect goal. With a teammate flying in. In the end, it went well wide. And I have the feeling he'll get another chance. Before the end of this match. And the ball in. Wildrakis gets it cleanly away. Be relieved at that. Oh, they do there. Just whistled for a little. towards Mitchell couldn't quite stretch to get it and he's limping slightly as he comes away I'm hoping there's not a muscular injury there and sits and well that pretty much sums it up for Latvia space just opening up for him the finish very wayward yes. here's a replay of the goal it's a fine touch there from Katerbach to set himself finding Tillman and that is a great finish into the bottom corner we've seen some superb goals this evening really giving the goalkeeper Orals no chance whatsoever 
don't blame the keeper for any of the four. Bugard at the double. Knauf. And then Tillman making it four in the second half. Five minutes to go. And we're going to see another goal. And new players coming on have given Germany a new forward impetus as they look to impress. Center Germany. As the crowd entertaining themselves now. It's been a fine evening out in Aachen. As Ali do thought about lining one up. It's a clever ball. Out towards the right hand side. Asta on it. Still got the ball here. And Dadai. Forward pass. And sure enough, just trying to batter his way through. It's appealing for something. I don't think he's going to get it from the referee. And he's got a real hunger just to go for the heart of the defence. Whoever he plays against... Continues his run forward. There's just a flick on it. Nature trying to make something of it. Goes down. Alidou continues with the ball. And it's taken a nick off the defender. And out for the corner. Just sending it wide. A real battling qualities being shown here from the forwards. Sure enough, they're looking for the handball. He's not going to get it. Comes off the hip, surely, of the defender. We've got two minutes to go and another corner delivery. It's flicked on at the near post and calmly away, it must be said. The Latvian defender Tonisevs could have panicked there and played it into his own net. That's nice corner routine though. In Germany mixing it up. the channel for Thielman he still manages to get there it's a high ball in and a Mitya well inches away there from making it five great play here from Thielman Mitya rising highest and just couldn't quite guide it home And 
two players have ended up on the ground there. Asta straight back up again. And he goes on. We're seeing nothing amiss there. As I can't see too much time added on being played here to extend the misery of Latvia really 4-0 away to Germany a double from Burghardt Ansgar Knauf as we've seen three minutes there added on that's a surprise for me as it was 3-0 at half time Tillman adding another in the second half coming on a sub driving home from the edge of the box perhaps the best goal of the night though that third goal for Germany from Burghardt world class finish and it's been excellent from start to finish from the Germans a big boost for them coming into the next game next week on Tuesday away to Israel a key fixture in the group should they come away with three points from that trip mm -hmm. almost book their tickets for the tournament proper and having a close eye as well on the other results throughout the group with Poland of particular interest there's a late chance for Latvia to get the ball into the box. No one arriving, though. And Asta bursts down the right-hand side. And it's going to be a great game on Tuesday. The top two head-to-head. -head. And the eighth round of fixtures in the group. Certainly Germany have got a big advantage with their goal difference. As that's cleared by Katterbach doing good work and Ali do. Lovely to come away with the ball, flicking it over the Latvian defender against him. Can't quite find sure enough though. down to a walking pace now with 30 seconds to go Germany seem quite happy with a 4-0 win of course I didn't mention the penalty miss from Latvia as Wapner was denied by Atubolo in goal really proving that he deserves his role in goal for the Germany under 21s big battle going on there and I think this corner is going to be the final action of the game Stiller we try and whip it in see if they can get number five it's half punched clear and ends up going wide from Dardai and on that the referee blows the full time whistle so 4-0 to Germany against Latvia in this under 21 qualifier I have to say I think that's a big step towards the final tournament for them coming into the key clash on Tuesday against Israel well I hope you enjoyed the match tonight plenty of goals really good ones too some fine finishes and I wish you a fine weekend before you can join us on Tuesday you then Take care and goodbye from me.